Moving on to a covalent bond and covalent compound. Okay. Uh, while ionic bond is the bond between metal and non-metal, covalent bond is the bond between two non-metals. Okay. All right. And covalent co means share, share valence electrons. So look at right here. So fluorine form a covalent bond between between them. Each one of them have seven electrons, right? Seven electrons. So they are most octet. Just one more. But if they lose an electron, well, they're going to go to six. So none of them want to lose. So like, okay, let's compromise. Let's share. So we each will have eight electrons. All right. Now, uh, some of you may ask, okay, in ionic bond, uh, one of them is cation, positive charge. The other one is an ion, a negative charge. So they attract. They can stay together. None of these two atoms have charge. How do they stick together? Well, the answer is the electrons in one atom are attracted by the uh, the proton in the nucleus of the other atom. So that's why they stick, they stay together. Okay. And uh, if you not realized by now, so a bond, a covalent bond, consists of two electrons. So two electrons, that's one bond. Two electrons, that's that's one bond. And the uh, <clears throat> electrons outside right here, they come in pairs, so we call we can just call them a, a lone pair. Right? Electron pair, a lone pair, uh, unshared electrons, we can call all those those names. Okay, I usually call them lone pair. Alright. Alright, now <clears throat> um if you look at right here, so one oxygen, how many how many uh, how many valence electrons are on oxygen? Six. Okay, so oxygen needs two more to become octet. That's why they can form water and oxygen in the middle. Yeah, this oxygen has eight electrons. All right, so you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each bond is two electrons. So this oxygen has eight electrons that become octet. All right, and a two lone pair doesn't do anything there. So the molecular formula of water is H2O. Now the octet rule control the formula. Okay, and uh, the molecular formula of a covalent compound is actually represent the actual number of each atom in a molecule. For example, so right here, so carbon monoxide, uh, the one molecule of CO is just one carbon, one oxygen. So we write CO. One molecule of nitrogen gas is two. There, are, there are two, uh, two nitrogen. So we write in two, right? Uh, in oxygen gas, so two oxygen atoms, so we, we write O2. In carbon dioxide, one carbon, two oxygen, we write CO2. So for covalent compounds, we use the molecular formula to represent an actual number of atoms in the molecule. Uh, we have another example. We have octane, the gas you pump in your car. Um, that's a, there are eight carbons, 18 hydrogen, you can count it. Okay, that's a molecular formula of octane. All right, let's check real quick. So, uh, how many electrons does the nitrogen atom share through covalent bond? Like how many? Uh, basically, how many? Um, uh, how many electrons are in the bond in this compound? Basically, so we got two there, two there, two there. So nitrogen used three uh, electrons by, from itself, right, and share with the hydrogen, and uh, but there are six. Uh, six electron in the bond total. Okay, so six electron. All right, now how many how many of the valence electron of nitrogen are not share? How many electrons? So two. Yeah, one lone uh, one lone pair, but two electrons. All right. Uh, does this nitrogen atom have a complete octet? Well, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's from uh, the valence electron of nitrogen, and then six, seven, and eight. Yes, All right. This nitrogen is uh, is octet. All right, try this guy. So this is methanol. This looks like methanol, not ethanol. But anyway, so the same thing. Uh, how many lone pairs are there? Well, two lone pairs right there. All right. Uh, are carbon and oxygen octet? All right. Start with carbon. Let's count number of electrons around carbon. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So yes, octet. Carbon is octet. Uh, now oxygen. Try oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay. Now next one. <clears throat> what is the molecular formula of ethanol? What's the molecular formula? Well, just count one carbon, four hydrogen, one oxygen. Right there. Okay. 
All right, now let's go back to the fun segment uh, in our podcast. So, well, that took a turn. Let's take a look what's going on here. Um, gosh, you are beautiful, but I'm not looking for anything. Just trying to make friends. Well, thanks, and that's okay. I'm not looking for anything either. Just want to meet new people, and if it goes somewhere cool, if not, I have a new friend. Sex. Oh, oh my gosh, creep. Starts so well, and you just oh, that took a turn. <laughs>